Monoculture is not a healthy thing. It's not the way nature does. And a lawn is the biggest monoculture there is. If you have monoculture that basically will attract many, many pests to it. If you've got acres and acres of corn, and the guy next to you has a little patch of corn and then a whole bunch of different vegetables and flowers and stuff, where are the corn pests going to go? They're going to leave you alone and go to the monoculture and pretty much wipe that out. It's the same with anything. Nature does mixes because that's what works. Mixes bring in beneficials, they bring in uh, insects that are going to attack, the, they're going to bring in the predators which will attack the pests. So you have to realize that doing things organically takes a different mindset. You have to work with nature, not bypass it. That's really the key. Um, the, um, the other thing that, that is a big issue with the chemical uh, lawn care industry is the fact that there's a lot of great people that go to some great land uh, schools to learn their trade. These schools are all funded by chemical companies. Um, and of course, the schools don't want to bite the hand that feeds them, so this is the method that they teach. There's really nowhere in education that I know of to find a, a course in organic turf, lawn, landscaping. It's usually a little side course to sort of let you, let you know so you can talk to your customer. What we do is, um, I'm a member of NOFA, which is the Northeast Organic Farming Association, and they have, it's on your, one of your links too, is an or organic land care network. And they're trying to get landscapers and gardeners to become accredited. And that's what I have done, and there's several on there. In fact, you can go on there and find a list of accredited land care professionals in your area and uh, find their websites and information. And what you have to do is take training courses. It's a five-day course, and you have to pass a test, and you actually have to sign um, an agreement that you will stick to these practices or you will lose your accreditation. And we have to take courses yearly to, keep, uh, to get different points to keep our accreditation valid. So that's really the only way, except for pure experience, learning from people who do it, but it, as a professional um, accreditation, to say you are an organic land care person. And it's a shame because uh, in the country, uh, I think that the, I'm trying to remember all the facts and figures, but I know out of, there's probably 20 million households that have lawns and gardens. And only 3% of them are managed organically. But when surveyed, they say 25% would like to, they just don't know how or don't have the resources to do it. So there's a huge gap in what people want to do and what they can do because of knowledge and professionals to do this. The best things to use are a nice dark pine bark mulch, not too heavily, two to three inches thick, that's it. Always pull away from the crown of the plant. You don't want it right up against. That causes rot, that causes bugs getting in. Terrible things to do. You don't ever want mulch volcanoes, as we call it, <coughs> which you see at every mall around the world, <laughs> and makes all those trees short-lived. They've actually had lawsuits now. The Rhode Island Tree Council has tried to train landscapers not to do mulch volcanoes. And, land, and they, homeowners now have some recourse that if a professional goes in and does that, and is, find out they're not trained properly to do it. They have had lawsuits where people have sued and gotten the price back of lost plants in their landscape. From Mulchers are great, but they're greatly overused. And of course, I hope I don't insult anyone in here, but if anyone uses that hideous red stuff, <laughs> I just can't say enough bad stuff about it. Uh, I always try to equate it with, you know, you've got this beautiful landscape, and then you put all this red mulch down. And I said, well, what if you went into an art gallery and the walls were painted red? You wouldn't even see the art. All you see is red. And that's what it's like when you look at this. 